Tenerife is in the Canary Islands off the northwest coast of Africa where I fished was just on the outskirts of Los Cristianos a little rock mark here and you can see where I was fishing from Well, it's Monday, um, I mean, somewhere different. I'm in Los Cristianos in Tenerife. It's about 10 past six in the morning. It gets light about seven-ish. So I've come to just see what I can catch. I'm on holiday for two weeks here with family, so it's not a fishing holiday, it's just as and when I can get out. Um, Unfortunately, my family do rise late when I get up early, so hopefully I can get out a few mornings, just see what's about. I haven't got a clue what's, uh, what I'm going to catch here. I did come out for a quick recce on Saturday morning. I turned up on Friday afternoon, just popped down for an hour and a half on Friday, uh, the Saturday morning, just doing a bit of lure fishing, just caught a, a lizard fish, which I'll show here. Came for a little recce this morning, and uh, only been here about an hour and I've got this uh, lizard fish. Got set itself hooked, unhooked. They've got a nice mouth, so I'll get him back. But, uh, Ugly looking things. But today I've got my lure rod which is 20 grams to 50 grams and my Daiwa Ninja with mono on it. I've got two spools, one for braid when I'm lure fishing, one with mono on. Um, just using a two hook flapper, I'll show you the setup in a bit. Just got prawn as bait, little 50 gram bullet weight I'm just gonna cast out see what's about I brought my little telescopic rod cheap cheap and nasty one um, with a float on it so when it gets a bit lighter I brought some bed bread and uh, try and chum up and see what else I can get but I'll probably fish until about eight ish to see what's about this is my setup uh, Daiwa Ninja Reel it's a 5000 LT it says with mono on it I think I've got 20 pound mono might be overkill, but 20 pound mono. Uh, the reel is a squadron travel spin, lovely, breaks down to six pieces, nice to fit in, and it's uh, 9.9 foot 2 inches, or well, 9 foot 2.7 meters, casting weight there 20 to 50 grams, or 0.7 to 1.7 ounce. Just using a little bullet weight with some prawn or two hook flapper. So I'll cast it in, see what we can get. Well, I've had four casts in about 40 minutes and twice I've been snagged up. I think there's a hell of a swell here. I don't know if you can see. I think the weights are too light to hold the bottom and are rolling into snags. So I might have to push the bottom here. I might have to bring my heavier rod with the four and five ounce weights to see if that'll hold the bottom. Um, So I'm just going to put a, a lure on, spin for about 15-20 minutes until it's starting to get lighter now and once it's light I'm going to shove a float in and chum up and uh, see what happens. I might move more further around into the bay where it's a bit quieter but I'll do that when it's a bit lighter I can see a bit better. So you can see what I'll be pushing 
vessel just turned up here to start working looks like they're building a key but uh, you can get an idea of the swell the Atlantic swell that's coming in here why can hold bottom it doesn't surprise me only using a two ounce uh, weight or a 50 gram that's great right, so I might have to come with my heavier rod and lamp out uh, a five ounce weight gripper see if there's anything about but uh, spinning spinning wise not much so I might try to get a barracuda as the uh, timber's rising that's speed but it does look very fishy I did see some locals over the weekend fishing around here so I'm going to move over into that bay there now try float fishing for an hour and go back for some breakfast before it starts getting too hot so I'm going to try a bit of float fishing I've got my uh, cheap AliExpress spinning reel I bought I don't know what, never used it before but it's quite solid for 20 odd quid I've got an £11.99 Shakespeare Beta 8 foot spin which is weighted I think at let you see 5 to 30, or 15 to 30 grams I've got a 10 gram float Electronics Pro float, a three foot trace underneath, and I'm going to use a little six size six circle hook. I've got some bread there, which I'm going to put some chum up, throw in, put a bit of uh, prawn on, on the hook, and see what happens. So this is the bay where I'm fishing now, so you can see where they're working. See if we can catch anything species. Just doing it for a bit of fun, I'm not trying to catch a world record size fish. Just catch anything, different species to what I catch back home. I'll get into the fish now. A little ornate bass, let's just get it unhooked. Absolutely beautiful looking fish. Lips hooked fantastically with the circle hook. If I can get it out, I'm not used to using such small hooks. Go, oh, whoa, hear the camera. Mini species hunting, the LRF. Just, I'll put it down, you probably get a on that I said closest we got is probably like a cuckoo rass kind of tiny great fun on this light gear just stay close in just gonna put it back all eight rass I tell you what I've had loads of uh, takes but oh I don't have strictly bait from the line without getting hooked maybe because I'm using circle hooks but I'd rather lip up them rather than these hook small hooks Okay, they're only small, but great little fun on the uh, light gear, float fishing, which I haven't done for absolutely years. Um, I'm going to put it back. Oh, it's passing the time, this, enjoying this. Well, I'm getting lots of, uh, lots of takes with these small rats, but sometimes they're just coming off the hook as I'm bringing them to the surface, so but I need even smaller hooks than size six circle hooks, so it's a circle hooks, I haven't quite gone in the mouth. Sometimes they strip the hooks, so I, ha I do have some smaller, I think I have some smaller hooks with me, which are just normal J hook type, so I might do a rig with those, but hey, it's been fun. I'm gonna give another 10 minutes. Um, and then I go home. But I'd like to just get one more, and then uh, I'll go home. it's starting to get out you can feel it's starting to get warm now and I've got no sun cream on or anything like that Let's see if 
if I can get one whilst I'm still filming. But they're very, they're very aggressive takes though, as you would expect from a rattle. Have you got one? Yeah, whilst well, filming. There we go. Looking at the size of these fish and the hooks, I may have to go smaller. go another pretty ornate grass lovely looking fish pretty bit of sport this morning then one more cast and that's it then last, last cast and probably the biggest one I've caught oh well definitely is the biggest one I've caught look it's really not monster but the colours on it are absolutely superb get this hook out This is a specimen size or not. I'll show you the colours on it are unbelievable. Oh, look at the colours on that. I'll put it back. I might have one more cast. So when I threw in the last bits of prawn, I saw must be 20 30 fish under the water going for all different types so i'm going to come back here again get some more prawns i've run out of bait now uh, but i thought i might need smaller hooks smaller bits of bait because they were stripping my baits as soon as it was cast in sometimes they get a take and they would fall off most of the time i seem to be catching these ornate rats but i can see there are other fish in, in there so uh, yeah, come here again, enjoyed it. Nice and easy fishing for rock bar, give you an idea. I'll go up the top and uh, show you more. There's a guy fishing, come fishing there. There's uh, another guy there. But the water's so clear, I, I can even see now, I can see the ornate rats swimming about. But uh, it's starting to get hot now. Off home, I have to, uh, I think we might be going to Siam Park today, I'm not sure. But it's about half past eight. Nice way to spend the morning on holiday. So I've climbed to the top now. Oh, somebody fishing there. This peninsula. There is another side there. There's Los Cristianos Harbour with two fat, uh, fast cats in them. And my apartment's just over there, five minute walk home, can't beat it.